time for bed. Night, Francisco. Okay. Falling asleep now. <sighs> yep, that, that's the spot. I saw this on a YouTube channel once. This is all your fault. If you're watching this video, I'm assuming you can't sleep. I got five reasons why you're not falling asleep and five solutions on how to fix them. Stay tuned. reason why you're not falling asleep at night is because you're scrolling on your phone. <laughs> no, you hang up. <laughs> no, no, you hang up. And when you're scrolling on your phone, the blue light from the phone gets into your eyes and it actually clamps down on your pituitary gland and what that basically does is it shuts off your melatonin. Melatonin helps you fall asleep. And if you don't have melatonin, you're not falling asleep. Yeah, yeah, I know. I heard. Crazy. I heard she has huge... <laughs> Hello? Assets. Yeah, she can really run a company. Hello? She hung up. So stop scrolling on Instagram. Stop talking to your friends on FaceTime. Try a different solution. Read a book. Mary had a... Maybe on second thought, maybe you shouldn't read a book. Maybe you should just try to go to sleep without scrolling on your phone. Okay? It's that simple. Your room is way too hot when you go to sleep. So you want your room to be at least 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Why do we say that? Because our body naturally cools down at night. And when our body's like super hot and you start sweating like this, your body can't cool down and it's gonna fairly be hard for you to fall into REM sleep. However, when you drop your body temperature and your room is nice and cool and dark, kind of like a cave, you actually wind up sleeping and falling into REM sleep a lot quicker. You ever wake up in the middle of the night and you start having an intimate stare down with your clock? Well, one thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take that and you're gonna wanna turn it around. It's called clock watching. Every time you wake up in the middle of the night to look at your clock, right? Your body's naturally gonna wanna stay awake. So, to help that, you're gonna wanna turn your clock around. Also, the light from the actual clock itself kinda keeps you awake. So, another reason why you're not falling asleep at night is because you're worried and you're really overthinking everything. You know, you got a lot in your mind, everything that happened today, you know, you're just bringing it inside the bedroom and you bring it inside the bedroom, guess what? You're not falling asleep. My solution? Get yourself a notebook and do a brain dump. A brain dump is when you take all the problems and the worries of the world of the day and you get down and you just write it down, whatever it is. If you got a ton of ideas, write it down. If you got a ton of worries, write it down. And then I told Sally, you're gonna catch these hands if you don't pop off and give me back my lunch money. By the way, that girl has great assets. She could run a great company. And what's better than a brain dump? Getting on your knees and saying a prayer. Sometimes taking the burden off your shoulders and giving it to someone who can handle it is way better than a brain dump. So what happens when you drink before bed? It basically interrupts your REM sleep. So when you're trying to go to bed and you have a couple of drinks, yeah, it's gonna knock you out at first, but it's gonna interrupt your rest cycle of REM sleep and you're gonna wake up in the middle of the night having to probably pee and then say to yourself, wow, this is gonna be a bad hangover. So there you have it. That's five reasons why you're probably not falling asleep at night and five remedies on how to solve that problem. So guys, if you like more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and you know the deal. Love your body, love your mind, and love your soul and stay happy.